Good evening everyone. Uh, this is uh, a video to show you a new engine that I've made. Uh, it's not the one that you see here, but uh, this engine was the start of the idea for building the new one. This is a uh, laminar flow Stirling engine, or some people call it a uh, thermo thermoacoustic engine. I've got a glass piston running in a glass bore and a flywheel at the end here, and a connecting rod that connects the flywheel to the piston. But what I noticed by accident was that if I took the conrod from the flywheel and I applied a small impulse to the piston, that it would oscillate for a few seconds backwards and forwards within the bore. So with that in mind, I decided that I would make or try to make another engine where the oscillation was stable over time. So this is that engine. Uh, the changes that I've made to it are there's a small bit of silicon tube on the orifice which prevents the glass piston smashing into the, uh, the piece of brass where the orifice is drilled through into the hot side. This is the piston and in the bottom is a small nut and the reason for the nut is to keep the piston in the same orientation while it's travelling up and down inside the bore. The reason for doing that is because the bore and the test tube are slightly oval and there is an optimum position for the piston to be in within the bore. So with any luck I can set this now into oscillation. I'm just going to push it in slightly further. Now I'm going to apply some clips to the cold side to act as a heat sink because with the speed that the piston is going backwards and forwards it does tend to draw a loss of heat into the cold end and the engine will stop after a few minutes. So by applying the clips it will run slightly longer. The amplitude of oscillation at the moment is around about 35 millimetres and I'm sure you can hear the, uh, the frequency that the engine is running at. So I'm going to remove the heat source. There we go. And it does continue to oscillate for a couple of seconds after and then the oscillation ceases. I'm going to reapply the heat now. And restart the, uh, the engine. So I'm interested to uh, have any comments on this engine and uh, to try and find out basically exactly what type of engine this is. It does have a, a resonant frequency and it does seem to always run at that frequency with different lengths of uh, wire wool in the hot side, with different sizes of orifice and with the piston in different parts of the bore. So if it is resonant, then maybe it is thermoacoustic, I'm not quite sure. What, what seems to be important in the good running of the engine is the mass of the piston, and if, if, uh, if the piston is too heavy, then the engine won't run at all. Now whether this is due to friction, I'm not quite sure. So I uh, invite your comments, and thanks for watching.